not behind anyone. I haven't. You got a nice looking badge on, though. <laughs> <laughs> I do today. I have met everyone except for John Huntsman, which I don't really care to. Um, Newt's out. Newt's been out. He was rude to me. Um, so he was out right away. Arians and rudeness I don't care for. I have known Herman Cain for two years. There's already a guy in there with no experience. I can't do that again. I like Michelle Bachman. I just don't think she's got what it takes yet to run the country, to be the leader of the free world and to be the commander in chief over our military. Um, Rick Perry's too weak on immigration. And Mitt Romney is just Mitt. not exciting to me. <laughs> My guy didn't get in, Paul Ryan. So, why? I, I was a Democrat up until I voted for Bush's second term. That's the first time I voted Republican. But I've been the strongest activist in Iowa, one of the strongest activists in Iowa since 2009, getting conservatives elected in our own state house in the 2010 elections. Why, sir, should I get behind you? Well, uh, process of elimination, I'm the only one left. <laughs> <laughs> you made in, 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 in your process of elimination. Does someone have the experience to be commander in chief? I served eight years on the Armed Services Committee, a chair of a committee, a uh, subcommittee on armed services. During that eight year period of time, uh, the committee always produces one bill. It's called the National, it's called the Defense Authorization Bill. And I have a chunk of that bill that I write as the chairman of that committee. Uh, during that eight year period of time, that, that section of the bill, which in six of those eight years dealt with procurement, of uh, army and, and uh, uh, army assets, mostly army and air assets. So platforms, air and land platforms, not sea platforms. So we were air, air land subcommittee. That was my chunk of the bill. And for eight years, uh, the Democratic chairman and I were able to produce a bill that was never amended successfully, contrary to what the two of us were able to, to, to come to agreement with. So if you're looking for someone who can reach across the aisle, find support, get a committee to come together, find a consensus, move that consensus forward, and be successful on the floor of the United States Senate uh, in getting bipartisan support on an area that doesn't always, you don't always get bipartisan support, and national security, I have a track record of being able to do that. I mentioned uh, the, uh, the work that I did with respect to the Middle East. There were two pieces of legislation that I authored, uh, actually after I got off the Armed Services Committee, one had to do with Syria, the other having to do with Iran. Both were uh, serious problems with respect to the state of Israel. One was Syria's involvement in Lebanon and therefore incursions into northern Israel. And I worked with the pro-Israeli lobby to come together and get a bill which was initially opposed by Colin Powell and George Bush. They opposed it publicly. And within two years period of time, they came around and signed it. And it passed in both cases overwhelmingly with strong democratic support. Iran, I mentioned very quickly, I did the same thing. Why? In 2004, I went out uh, and introduced this bill, and a year later, they, uh, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad was elected president of Iran. I started to go out, I, I, I got all the dossiers on the guy, and I read it, I said, this guy is a serious problem for this country. This, the era of reformers in Iran is over, and this is gonna be a serious threat to our country. And I went out and, and in 2005 and in 2006, and I would go, I would go into audit. Excuse me, 2006, because he was elected in 2005, and and I would say, and I'm up for election, and I would go out and say to audience like this, how many people have ever heard of Mahmoud Ahmadinejad? And nobody would raise their hand. And I said, let me guarantee you one thing: within a year, you all will know his name and be able to pronounce it. Okay? And I was right. And why? Because I knew what this man was about. I knew that this was, an, they, they saw this as an opportunity where the mullahs were gonna come together and have a much more lean forward, uh, aggressive stance in Iraq, which I talked about before, but also in developing nuclear power, nuclear weapon. 
That's why I authored this bill. As I said, it got no co-sponsors and with two years once the Bush administration had their dalliance with uh, trying to negotiate with the Iranians, uh, they, uh, and by the way, just so you know, that bill was actually voted on the floor of the Senate in June of 2006 while negotiations were going on between the President and the Iranians, and I lost. And the person who stood up and fought me on the floor of the Senate, Joe Biden, okay? And so, and I lost by three votes. Even though I had 60 co-sponsors, I only got 50, 47 votes. Why? Because the day of the vote, Condi Rice and George Bush came out and opposed the bill. Five months later, they signed the bill. Okay, but what were you right? for me as president? Well, I'm just, I'm just trying to tell you that the, the experience <coughs> of someone who gets it right and has the experience to be commander in chief of this country. That's number one. Number two, I talked about uh, the economic plan. I talked about the ability to lead in Washington. Someone who's been successful in promoting conservative things, getting bipartisan support, not because I've uh, abdicated my principles, but because I was successful in advancing those principles and getting the public to support them in sufficient numbers that Democrats would come along. The example I best use on that is welfare reform. The welfare reform bill, which I authored when I was in the House and managed on the floor of the Senate, ended welfare as a federal entitlement, block rated the money to the states, capped federal spending on a, on a fixed amount, and put time requirements on welfare and a work requirement on welfare. We cut the welfare rolls in half in a matter of four years and poverty rates went down, unemployment went up. I mean, employment went up. Bill Clinton vetoed the bill twice. Democrats didn't want to support it. But we went out and made the argument to the American people and Clinton signed it for one reason. He thought he would lose the election if he didn't. That's why Democrats will work with you. If you've convinced the public <laughs> that if they're going to lose if you don't work with them. And that's what I've been able to successfully do. So on national security, on, on, on fiscal issues, uh, I've been consistent. Finally, I've won elections. I mean, Mitt Romney ran as a liberal against Ted Kennedy. And I, I would make the argument, ran to the left of Kennedy at the end and lost his race for the Senate. He says he's not a career politician. Well, that's only because he lost. He's not a career politician. Okay? So, and then he ran for governor as a moderate. Now he's running as a conservative. When I ran for Congress in a 60% Democratic district, ran for re-election in a 70% Democratic district, and ran in the state of Pennsylvania with a million more Democrats and Republicans, I ran as a conservative. I was going to stand up there and try to convince the people of, this, of my state that the ideas and, and the integrity that I brought to the process was something that was necessary in Washington. And they voted for me. And they re-elected me. They re-elected me as a conservative and not a conservative district and not a conservative state. And if you're looking for someone who's actually won a swing state as a conservative, there's only one person in this race that's done that, me. Everyone says, oh, you know, I, we really like Rick, but he's not electable. Well, I'm the only one that is electable. I'm the only one that's actually won a state that you need to win if you want to win the presidency. Nobody else has. Rick Perry, he's won, he, won, he won Texas as a Democrat when Texas was a Democrat state and won as a Republican when it became a Republican state. How hard is that? Okay, so